All right, guys, we're talking hydrogen water, and this is a super informative episode with Greg, the hydrogen man, as we call him. He's got a YouTube channel. It's called Uprising 144K. And I actually, I got connected with this company called Holy Hydrogen, and I really appreciate them. A friend of mine was like, dude, seriously, Jared, like you got to talk to these guys. This stuff is like really cool. And I was like, okay, yeah, that'd be awesome. And I, you know, got connected with them and they were like, actually, man, you should seriously, instead of just have Greg, come on. He's so knowledgeable. He's so, he doesn't work for us us or anything. He's just super knowledgeable about hydrogen water. And he went through his own path of healing using hydrogen. And it, this is definitely the most informative information I have ever heard on hydrogen water. I learned a lot of stuff today about like which products you don't want to use and how you want to do it and why it matters. And just it's, it's information packed. I'll put it that way. So, um, you can check the link in the show notes, um, for the different products and things that he talks about the, um, water distiller that he talks about his YouTube channel and this holy hydrogen, um, uh, molecular hydrogen machine. I guess for lack of a better word. So, and then, um, they did give you guys a discount on there. So I'll put it on, uh, the show notes. Um, so check that out, but if not just learn about molecular hydrogen today, because this was super informative. So I hope you guys enjoy here is Greg, the hydrogen man. Okay. So molecular hydrogen, (laughs) let's dive in. We talked about talking and, you know, and, and as easy to understand terms as possible, but you know, this is really cool stuff. You guys sent me some stuff over showing that, um, hydrogen has been shown to have medical efficacy in 170 different disease models. So when I hear stuff like that, I'm like, okay, so what's the root here? Like, why is that a common factor? Why is hydrogen helping in so many health issues? Yeah, that's it. that was actually exactly the question that scientists were asking in Japan when they were seeing all the different things that it was helping with. It was I wish I had the visual for you. They had a list of all these medical conditions, and it was long. Mm-hmm. And then they had next to each medical condition the medicine that is prescribed in the in the pharmaceutical world, mm. and then medicines that would counteract negative side effects. And the medicine list was so big just for each disease that the list of medicines was off the charts. It was huge. Mm. And then they showed hydrogen. They said this one thing has an effect on all these things and even works better than some of the pharmaceutical stuff. And before I proceed, I always like to say I'm not giving anybody any medical yeah. advice. <laughs> I'm not making any medical claims. Please go consult your physicians for your, yeah. all your medical needs. <laughs> um, but this is a science. I mean, that's, that's what they discovered. And they wanted to understand. They were like, okay, why would one thing have an effect on virtually everything um, when it comes to health? And what they ultimately discovered many millions of dollars later and countless hours, a lot of work, you discover that there's one common denominator and that's oxidative stress. Yeah. So if you have too much oxidative stress in the liver, it'll turn into a liver disease, too much oxidative stress in the brain, wherever it is. And it causes these issues. And the thing about hydrogen though, that's different than other so-called antioxidants and antioxidants are great. They're important. I eat a lot of them in my diet with my you know fruits and vegetables and whatnot, but it's a unique anti a unique antioxidant hydrogen because first of all people don't know that antioxidants come in different sizes another visual that i wish i had for your viewers because they have like coq10 would be one size of a molecule vitamin c vitamin e all these different size molecules and then you look at hydrogen and it's just like tiny yeah and that's what makes it powerful because it can mm-hmm. penetrate even down to the mitochondria and so nice. it penetrates everywhere and it and it, if you make it correctly that's always my big thing cuz nobody out there talks about it the Japanese are the only ones who seem to understand this and myself, but America doesn't know anything about the difference between making it properly and not making hydrogen properly. Cause there yeah. are ways to do hydrogen the wrong way. And I do get emails of people, unfortunately, who have been harmed by doing it the wrong way. Um, more specifically, I don't trust the products from China. Sorry. I just don't trust those guys. Cause I've mm. seen them lab tested. I know the materials they are using. They're not doing it the right way. It's not high quality mm. and any product that uses lie, believe it or not, they're, machines out there that use sodium hydroxide lye, which is just toxic. It's the main ingredient in Drano and they use it to make hydrogen. And it's just insanity in my opinion. Um, but people just don't know any better is the problem. They're they're not true specialists. So, well, I want to, I mean, if my listeners have been listening a couple episodes ago, we had Ari Witten on talking about mitochondria and he was speaking of mitochondria Mm -hmm. as the biggest lever right? Like, so we have all these things that can help in your body, but if you can help increase your mitochondrial health, then the cellular energy that you have, your body can actually heal itself. And I also just have to share, I was just at a conference. Um, it was called hard to kill summit. And there was a psychiatrist from Harvard medical school there. Um, his, 
what's Chris Palmer. And I sat next to him at dinner and we just got into this really deep conversation. And he was basically saying from his viewpoint, all, most mitochondrial dysfunction is what leads to most mental health issues too. He's like, well, if there, if you don't have mitochondrial health in certain regions of the brain, they can't act correctly, you know? So he's really big on that in terms of, you know, I'm really dumbing that down, but mitochondrial mm-hmm. health, I mean, it's, if you think about it, like if you have a flashlight, you know, you have a flashlight, that's barely the batteries are almost out. It's mm-hmm. like, it's not really going to help you out that much. You put a brand new battery and you're like, well, that was helpful. Thank you. You know, now it can work. Now we can use it. So to hear that hydrogen can get you even get into the mitochondria and I'm all about, I love my people know, I love like nano particle size minerals. I'm like the smaller you can get it, the more it can get into places, you know? So that's really Absolutely. awesome to hear. So just want to highlight that. That was actually how they, that was one of the very first studies ever done. Uh, one of the guys who's mm. not even a hydrogen specialist, actually, he was more of a mitochondrial specialist. And mm. he discovered what hydrogen was doing for the mitochondria and getting it to work properly again. Because a lot of the mitochondria, their dysfunction has to do again with oxidative stress, you know, free right. radical damage. Yeah. And this can restore that activity. And hydrogen has been not only given a lot of people energy, one of the things that I think people are really missing out on, obviously, it's amazing for your health, but it's the fitness world or professional sports, whatever, they're totally missing the boat. Hydrogen Mm -hmm. is, if you do it correctly, it is a powerhouse and you could change, transform the world of athletics. Mm -hmm. And I have other ways that, I mean, I have so many theories and things that I, and and most of them have been proven true throughout the years. I've been, because they make sense. You know, my theories are not really crazy or anything. And if you learn Mm -hmm. how to do things right, you can, you know, accelerate recovery time. They did a study on a bunch of soccer players in Japan. Mm -hmm. And in the world of science, for people who don't know this, when they're trying to pharmaceutical or something in the in the world of medicine, if something works 80% of the time, it's deemed a huge success. Like, woohoo, this stuff works. Right. Yeah. We're gonna make this medicine. Well, when they used hydrogen on these soccer players to test endurance before hydrogen and after hydrogen, it worked a hundred percent. Every single athlete improved. So I mean this stuff clearly works. Wow. It's pretty amazing. So recovery time, obviously, right. You're reducing oxidative stress. You can heal, but you're saying also from an energy output, you know, obviously if it's, if it's helping enhance mitochondrial health, you know, the, the lack of oxidative stress, but on top of the function that, I mean, that's what I would assume, you know, where that's where my mind goes. Now your mitochondria are functioning better. Like, of course mm-hmm. you're going to perform better. Okay. So let's get into this, mm-hmm. the, the different types, right? Because I've seen, you know, sure. rolling them around the health industry, like you can buy these really expensive machines that make hydrogen water. You can drop little tablets mm-hmm. in your water, like give us Ooh. the down low on like what actually works and what doesn't. <laughs> so I think I was probably one of the first people to do this. I was researching hydrogen, you know, a long time ago, but as I researched it, my, I saw that it was amazing, but then I shifted into, okay, well, how exactly do I get this stuff? You don't go to the corner store and buy hydrogen. Right. How do I get it? What's the right type to get? Cause there are different types. Then I've discovered there's different ways to make it. So what's the best way to make it? Then I discovered that there's impurities. And so how do I make the purest stuff? Because you don't want to have impurities in your hydrogen because you're going to use it for the long term. It's a lot like water. You want the cleanest water if you're going to drink water every day. Because right. if you drink water that's not pure every day, it's going to catch up to you and it could right. eventually make you sick. I mean, this is, a, I, to me, it's common knowledge. Mm-hmm. And so I highly recommend making the cleanest water. And I know every water filtration modality there is and carbon mm-hmm. distillers are they make the cleanest water. I'm sorry, but I have all the charts. I have all the data. Mm. Carbon distillers make the cleanest water. Then you have to remineralize it because you right. did take everything out of it, including the minerals. Right. And then you, then you dissolve pure hydrogen, not a mixed gas, not with oxygen, hydrogen, and, and other stuff in it. No chemicals, no lye, no directly ionizing the water. The pills that you mentioned, man, I've been trying to tell people that these pills are no good for a long time. And mm. there's supposed experts out there yeah. selling these things. Totally. Saying that saying that they're the right way to do it. And nobody listened to me, to be honest. And then finally lab testing came out. I even posted it on my YouTube channel. If anybody wants to see it, you know, you type in the name of the channel, which is uprising 144K. And you go to my YouTube channel, you can find the lab tests. And that's where you saw some of the cheap Chinese products being lab tested. The hydrogen pills were lab tested and the results were not good. What's um, in, what's wrong with them? What, why, why do you say that? Well, in my opinion, there's a lot of things wrong with them. So first of all, they are, they're creating a chemical reaction. That's how it creates the hydrogen. Mm. If you've ever drank those, it tastes like metal and Mm. it doesn't taste like metal for no reason, you know? And the problem is that they're using, I mean, they, what the companies try to tell you is, oh, these things have magnesium. So magnesium is good for you. 
first of all, there's many different types of magnesium. Yeah. Second of all, magnesium is a compound metal. So clearly when you see it, when you make it, it turns gray. I mean, it's yeah. a metal and you right. taste it and it tastes like crap. In fact, um, the Japanese know about the pills and they were actually shocked that people are drinking it. They're like, are you serious? Mm. And doctors are recommending it. The Japanese are blown mm. away by this because it's, they don't sell these in Japan. Mm. Um, and I knew of a whole group of people. Now this was years back because the pills have been around for a while. This whole group of people did their blood work before and then got on the pills for six months. Mm. And then after six months, they had their blood checked again. And here's a weird part. All of them, their liver numbers were worse. Mm. Now that's odd because hydrogen is actually good for the liver. There's research to show it. I've known people with fatty liver disease, cirrhosis of the liver, reversing these things with hydrogen made properly and used properly. Mm -hmm. So the pills are, in my opinion, they're just a money grab. They're, it's just mm -hmm. garbage. They're just selling people pills and they're like, hey, and, and, and they're repeat customers, right? Because you have to continue to buy the pills, you know, and, and it's actually the most expensive way to use hydrogen. Mm. And you're not going to really get the benefits because, well, one, they're not pure, but in the video that I showed the lab tested video, it's not making enough hydrogen. Uh, so they're claiming these outrageous numbers, but the reality, mm -hmm. when you see it on the video in the lab test, you're not getting therapeutic grade. So in order to get therapeutic grade, you'd have to take so many of those pills. Mm -hmm. It'd just be at the, again, now you're being exposed mm -hmm. to high toxicity. It just, they don't make sense. Honestly, wow. they just don't make sense. If they did, wow. I would just yeah. gladly talk about it, but they don't. Right. Wow. Interesting. Thanks for sharing that. So how do you get pure hydrogen into your water? Yeah. So to do it properly, um, this is the beautiful thing is that Japan really went all out. Um, there was a guy who actually has a daughter who has ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. Mm -hmm. And they told him that his daughter wouldn't make it past the age of five. It's a pretty sad story. Mm -hmm. And this guy want, was set out to make the best hydrogen machine for home use. Mm -hmm. that, that was his goal. Mm. and they didn't really think about the money like oh let's make it cheaper he didn't want to cut any corners you know yeah. which is awesome because everybody <laughs> right. cuts corners you know it's right. so, it, it just bothers me at some point right i wanted the best hydrogen for me too because i mean i was right. really sick you know mm. I, I was literally on my deathbed and oh, hydrogen really? saved my life oh my gosh oh, i couldn't go wow. walk i couldn't oh. hold up a remote i couldn't really? change the channel oh i was in so much pain wow. and i was all screwed up you know and this is actually how you know ultimately I kind of figured things out to try to heal myself because the medical yeah. field had no answers for me. Right. Wow. So ultimately that's why I learned, you know, all these different things and figuring out hydrogen. I found first of all, the scientific data mm -hmm. and it, cause it gets kind of, you look at all the specs on a hydrogen machine. You don't know what you're looking at when I first started. And so I looked at the actual scientific data from the top studies done in the world which were by the Japanese. And then that data, I started looking at all these hydrogen machines, seeing if they, if that, if the information on the proper hydrogen was being yeah. conducted by these machines. Right. And all this research led me to it's actually the number one hydrogen company in the world. It's a Japanese company. They're number one. They have better technology than anybody. In fact, they have a new technology. It's called Vive, uh, mm. V-I-V-E. Um, I wouldn't have named it that, but but it's something mm -hmm. like they cre they're creating a certain type of vibration structuring the water and vortexing hydrogen in a way that nobody in the world's ever done. Um, they're the only company in the world. Mm. They have some patents or something rather on this stuff. And it's unbelievable what they're doing. I mean, they're so advanced and far ahead. Is Vibe the company or is that just the name of the machine? What's the name of the company? Uh, the, the name of the website and the company is called holyhydrogen.com. And then the, the name of the product is called, it's a 2022 Lord's Hydrofix premium or mm. Lord is hydrofix premium is the name of the device because of a place. Did you ever hear about Lords France? You ever heard of this place? Yeah. Yeah. So the Japanese discovered that the healing water of Lords, which people from all around go and drink, they found that it has high levels of molecular hydrogen. So wow. that's what appears that is really happening. So this device not only mimics it, it enhances it dramatically, um, much higher levels than the water from Lords France. And it offers a hydrogen gas inhalation, which provides other benefits and so the device that i like is japanese made japanese engineered built in japan it's the only machine in the whole world in the world of hydrogen that is lab tested and lab certified nobody does that in the industry um, mm -hmm. these guys are just so far beyond everybody it's just it's kind of a joke honestly nobody mm -hmm. can keep up with these guys but i just wanted the best and they made it affordable that was a nice thing too the japanese used to have a device that only did the hydrogen gas inhalation they didn't make the water. It was only the gas and the machines were like $11,000 and it was safe. 
and it was made right, but they only made the gas. And mm. what happened was as a scientist were doing studies, they discovered that the water actually provided greater benefit than the gas, but the gas mm. has unique properties also. And then I created, I'm the first person in the world actually who created a specific protocol where you use both a specific way. And I gave, I give the information for free all the time on my, on my YouTube channel. And then it actually started getting copied by everybody. Everybody started using my protocol. And then they actually did two scientific studies on my protocol. And it showed to work better than any other modality that's ever been used in regards to hydrogen. Well, so it's the best way to go. Wow. <laughs> you're like, yeah. you're welcome. Um, so, <laughs> so do you mind sharing the protocol since it's completely out there? Um, yeah. So basically the way that I do it, I mean, it, I guess we can go into it a little bit. Yeah. I you don't have to tell all the details, but I'm just oh, like, okay. this, this involves gas and water or. Yeah. So both? the protocol. Yeah. Using both. Uh, basically when you use, for, first of all, the protocol, I always tell people make sure to use the right equipment. In fact, my protocol is based on the equipment because mm -hmm. people who've tried to copy the protocol by using other equipment, like the ones that use lye and they make something called Brown's gas, which is not actually pure hydrogen. Hmm. people have tried to use that, that my protocol with those devices which i would never recommend and i've known people have been hospitalized by doing wow. that because wow. of the impurities you never want to drink water from a device like that and those companies are copying my protocol and wow. it's just a foolish move so i just warn people yeah um, you cannot follow this protocol with pills either yeah um, okay. one you'd have to take way too many of the pills and two you'd never want to inhale the gas coming off those pills you'd never want to do that the wow. impurity of it all so wow. it's important to follow right equipment yeah. with the right protocol that's what i've discovered in mm, over a decade okay. of doing this okay um, but the protocol entails drinking the water on an empty stomach um you get greater benefit by doing that and mm. then you inhale the gas after drinking the water okay and that enhances a lot too but i have different protocols for different people i mean mm -hmm. parts of it is even just inhaling the gas while you're eating so that's part of one of my protocols um, wow. because if you've ever done research on eating there's literally data showing that it, with every meal we age we're literally aging as we eat. This is why people who right. overeat or even people who are really right. into fitness who are like these huge muscle head guys, you know, it's not good for you to eat that amount of calories. Yeah. Cause you know? your body never goes into repair mode. It's always in this building mode, right? So mTOR yep. and AMPK, right? If you never allow yourself <laughs> to come out of mTOR, like you're going to age faster, you know? So you're kind of using that. that as a hack. Are you, um, that's right. Yeah. Are you, um, I'm curious if in, in your research, my mind, so I love biohacking, but I also love okay. to like look at nature and how we have lost contact with nature through our modern lifestyles. And I'm curious if you've ever come across, like, did we used to have more hydrogen in our water or atmosphere? And now because of all of our modern lifestyle, it's depleted. Do you know anything about that? I absolutely do. <laughs> I'm proud of, I, I came up with that a long time ago and I looked at the data and yes, we have data that shows that there used to be more hydrogen on this planet, a lot more of it. Mm. I've even found ancient scriptures where I've found them mentioning hydrogen. Really? Uh, um, I have information on the Egyptians definitely using it. I could show, I, I mean, I yeah. have information that nobody in the world has actually, and I rarely speak of it mostly because I know everybody will steal it. Everybody keeps stealing yeah. my stuff on my channel. Cause to be honest, my channel is kind of small. It's not huge. Yeah. And I've seen it happen so much these days that there's all these people out there in the world of hydrogen. They all watch my channel and steal my stuff. And then they go to bigger platforms and they present it as if it's theirs. Mm. And so, you know, you it kind of got to, a little tiring. You have to get some patents and some copyrights and some <laughs> <laughs> all that stuff. You know, um, have you written a book yeah. on this? Maybe you could publish this formally, this information, I, that gets me super excited. All the, it, it, you know, I love anything anthropology, you know, history of the world. Cause for me, like, like cold immersion is a good example. I like cold immersion mm -hmm. as a biohack because if we lived outside the way humans were intended to, we would be exposed to a lot more temperature extreme. So I'm always like how, for me, biohacking is how can we bring more of what the earth intended us to have into our modern lifestyle because we just not yeah. we're not living out there and i don't really no, want to either but you know yeah. i still want i still want to get as close to it as i can while i chill out in my nice shelter here you know <laughs> well you're bringing up a lot of actually really good points because that's actually how i discovered a lot of my methods um, a lot mm. of my methods i discovered by observing nature because nature is smart and amazing yes uh, and believe it or not learning about animals and how they're treated specifically horse horse racing um horses 
the way they're mm. treated on in a whole other way. I mean, they're treated better than humans. I mean, these guys, they, they, they treat them like gods, you know, the best food, the best training, the best right. medicine, you know, everything is the best. And so that's how I created a lot of my, my methods. And then of course I got my blood work a lot to, to see what was working, what wasn't working. And then of course I started using it on me and then family members. And then the results were shocking. I mean, I, I, I was, I'm still shocked. I just got an email um, I released a video about a week ago uh, from a woman with dementia. Her mother, mm. daughter bought the machine, the HydroFix, followed the protocol. You should see the changes. She took pictures and I was releasing them and they're mind blowing because wow. dementia is not supposed to be curable, as they say. Um, but I mean, I've seen things from high blood pressure, cholesterol issues, diabetes, glaucoma, arthritis, uh, dementia and Alzheimer's. Um, I've seen a lot of these conditions go away and people don't even need pharmaceuticals anymore. Um, some of them you see improvement. Uh, macular degeneration was another really big one because kidney disease, I mean, kidney disease is not even supposed to be curable. And I've, I have family that had kidney issues and we were able to reverse it to a place where it was safer for them and they didn't have to do any dialysis. I mean, it goes on and on. It, it's, it's, my, it's hard to believe that it even exists and that it's truly here and, and it's accessible. I mean, the machine was already built by the Japanese. It's, they made it small, which is one thing that I love Japanese do. They mm -hmm. made it small. It's very reliable, like a Toyota, you know, and yeah. it's easy to use. And, and it does both the water and the gas. And the guy mm, who- It uh, does. Oh, okay, cool. Yep, it does both because that was important. And then they use top engineers from Japan. So we're talking from top companies, companies like G-Shock and Toyota and Yamaha. I mean, these companies were involved. A lot of people don't know Japanese culture that they they work together a lot and they help each other out. Mm. And so this company would have never been able to build this thing if it was. And as a very specific metal technology, that's where the, the Chinese, the Taiwanese, the Koreans, they don't have this technology. You, they, they just can't. And Japanese have amazing metal technology. I mean, just look back mm. to the era of their samurai swords, yeah, you know, yeah. amazing metal. Um, and this metal, there's only one company in the world that makes this type of quality and patented metal in such a way and it's a Japanese company. And wow. they, they even, I believe they even make stuff for NASA. I mean, they're, they're, these guys are top notch. Wow. And this same device were you was, weren't you saying something like they spin the water in like a vortex? Is this like structured water? Or can you talk more about that aspect of it? I'm curious. Yeah, it's, beyond that. it's literally beyond structured water. Okay. You're literally structuring the very thing that makes water hydrogen H2 right. without the O. And so huh. they figured out a way to do that. And they also found a way to, it fully saturates the water with hydrogen, which is important to understand because that means full saturation is the highest you can put hydrogen in our atmospheric pressure. Hmm. It also has amazing nano bubble technology, literally at a level that nobody has. It's like super nano, um, hmm. so tiny. A lot of times you can't even see it. Once in a while, if you flash a light at night, you can see, you can see it, but it's so tiny. Mm. And, and so that makes it more accessible, like more bioavailable, right. which is why I like to drink on an empty stomach. So it doesn't sit right. there with the food. Right. And, and so that's part of it. And ultimately you're not ionizing the water that you're drinking. This is one of the biggest issues with like Kangen mm. machines, almost mm. all devices will electrically directly electrolyze or ionize the water, which the Japanese through science have discovered is not the ideal way to do it. Mm. Hence this, this machine having uh, something that people have copied me as far as terminology, but I, I called it, I just invented a name. I called it dual chamber technology. So that's how I knew that people were stealing my info because I just made that word up. And then everybody starts talking about dual chamber technology. That's awesome. and I, was like, well, I made that up. <laughs> you have a little moment with yourself. You're like, okay. <laughs> and, and then I look at their products and they don't have dual chamber. So they're just lying and using a term that, that really doesn't apply to their product. Oh, wow. You know, but mm -hmm. the machine that I like has water in two areas. You know, mm. so one water, it's extracting the hydrogen, the other water, it's dissolving it into that water, which you're going to be drinking, mm. you know, and so that's how they went about it. But it's, a, it's much more complex than that. But mm -hmm. it's the, the most important part is that it's safe. I, I, there's a huge issue right now with breastfeeding. I don't know if you've seen all the right now, all the women who've had issues with breastfeeding in the media, there's been a lot of talk about all these like um, celebrities issues with breastfeeding. Oh, and I haven't seen it. And, I've, and I come up with all these crazy theories based on data. And I was like, geez, I think hydrogen water would change the world when it comes to breastfeeding. I think it would make super milk. And I think it would make a woman be able to produce more milk. Mm -hmm. And I literally just got an email like three days ago from somebody mm -hmm. who she's on her third child. And she's had her first two children. She always had trouble with breastfeeding. 
she found me, she got the hydrogen, she started the protocol, and then she had another baby, zero issues with breastfeeding. She's not only getting really good milk for the baby and all that's fantastic and the baby's um, breastfeeding well, but by my hunch is that she's turned her milk into super milk because she says the baby is looks healthier than any of the other previous babies. The skin, the, the way the eyes, just so many things about the baby just seems so much healthier. And she said, it's just unbelievable. And I just got that email. But see, I just kind of knew that it would work because it made sense to me. Well, it makes sense. I mean, when you're getting something that's reducing oxidative stress and increasing the efficacy of mitochondria, you know, enhancing the health of your mitochondria, everything goes up every, you know, I, I always think it's funny it's when people are like, though. okay, it's yeah. even more than that. It oh, does yeah. even more than that. Oh, like, do, uh, like the tell. water, <laughs> for example, the water, this is one of the differences between the water and the gas that they discovered through scientific study. When you drink the water, it causes your body to produce ghrelin. And ghrelin is a natural hormone that not only has a lot of health benefits that we typically produce when we're fasting. Mm -hmm. So now we're doing this without fasting. I actually think I know why this happens and nobody in the world knows why it happens. They're like, well, we don't know why. I think I know, but I don't know know if I should go into that. The point is ghrelin is the precursor to HGH also. Right. Yes. You know, and, and there's a lot of huge things Which is, in the future. Sorry, real quick. Growth hormone no, for anybody who doesn't know. Okay. Sorry. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Human <laughs> growth hormone. Yes. Yeah. And, and the body can produce it naturally. And I've seen so many benefits. In fact, that's another email I just got yesterday. Um, the way that hydrogen helps a lot of women with hormonal issues. Mm. There was, there was literally this one girl, I felt terrible for her. She literally would bleed three weeks out of the month. Mm. And, mm. and she would get, she was thin, but on her hips and her legs, she had all this cellulite. Mm-hmm. and it, her hormones were all screwed up she, her skin actually looked terrible mm-hmm. and she had tried the kangen device it didn't work she tried all these different diets and herbs and, and she was uh even mm-hmm. the ayahuascas and all these crazy things she mm-hmm. tried she tried everything she, she mm-hmm. couldn't fix this issue and she met me and then I was like hydrogen hydrogen and clean water girl and she's like oh I don't think it'll work I had tried the king and the king is not the same they try to promote the king and as being a hydrogen machine now because of the discovery of hydrogen but mm-hmm. it is mm-hmm. um those machines are lousy and they're expensive mm-hmm. and they directly electrolyze the water which is mm-hmm. something you don't want and they don't produce the gas inhalation either but anyway the point is is that she did that and it and I think it took six months roughly totally clarified. She started having her moon cycle, you know, her period regular, Mm -hmm. um, her cellulite went away, her skin Mm -hmm. got way better. It totally fixed this issue, but the issue has to do with the gut. This is the big one. There's a lot of things that Mm -hmm. hydrogen does, but Mm -hmm. our gut bacteria is huge. The Japanese also discovered, I mean, this is the new age of medicine. It's going to be coming very soon for people. They're literally taking bacteria out of certain people who just seem to be immune to certain diseases. And they'll implant them in other people and just yeah. fix the disease. Yes. And in the future, they're going to be making, in my opinion, some type of pill or something you can take and with these bacteria. But hydrogen has been shown to feed the good gut bacteria. And it also has been shown to function as a signaling molecule. Hmm. Obviously, it's been shown to be anti-inflammatory. Um, obviously, it works as not just an antioxidant, but what they call a selective antioxidant. So this thing almost has like a mind of its own. It's, it's kind of mind boggling that it just kind of knows what to do. Mm. Mm. It's, it's almost hard to believe. Um, what else does it do? I mean, I, I mentioned about, you know, the ghrelin, obviously Yeah. the way that it also helps affect your pH of your blood, you know, which is another one that's really important, but the gut bacteria one is huge in yeah. the way that it affects the body inflammation. So if you have inflammation in the gut, there was a woman who emailed me not long ago who had celiac disease for 40 years. No doctor could fix it. All sorts of issues, incredibly painful. She said it was more painful than having a baby. I was like, whoa, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Completely had to change her diet just so that she could live a life, yeah. a normal life. And she got on the hydrogen, fixed it. It fixed it within, I believe, eight months or so. And she's like, she started eating all sorts of crazy things and she just couldn't believe it. She said, I just can't believe that this did it. And it's something that exists that's out there. That's and people don't really know mo- that, much about it. That's really interesting. Yeah. I mean, gut, I mean, we, we have episodes about gut health. It's like, I mean, if you care about health at all, I'm hoping you know, at least, um, well, I'll say I, as a human collective, I always like to say, we're like not even in junior kindergarten yet when it comes to understanding the gut microbiome, but if it's enhancing, if it's acting as a signaling molecule, that's amazing because if you can enhance the communication 
in your body but amongst itself, it can do what it needs to do. But when it's inflamed yep. and you have poor cellular health, you can't, then everything starts to become dysfunctional. So the signaling molecule thing is really cool. Um, the reduction of inflammation is really cool. Another question mm-hmm. that I had, you've brought it up a couple of times is why is ionized water bad? Why would, why do we not want it electrolyzed? You know, because it produces other gases and the, and these other gases appear to most likely not be something that you want you know, that they wouldn't be good for you. And especially if you use, I mean, let's just say that you happen to take tap water. Now tap water has a lot of impurities. And if you ionize it, well, for example, let's say it has chlorine. What, you know what happens if you ionize chlorine, you're gonna produce a type of gas with it. And it's not good for you, it's actually dangerous. Mm, you know, so there's all these ionized right. particles and type of gases that you don't want. That's why the machine is specifically making only pure hydrogen. Everything else doesn't go into the water that you actually consume. So do you um, filter your water first and then put it through that machine? Does it go through a tap and there's a, how does it work? Do you? Yeah, absolutely. This is one of the things that I actually loved about this machine, the way they designed it. Because when I was shopping for them, a lot of devices you hook directly up to your plumbing, you know, like the King of Machines again, they go right Right. to your plumbing. This machine, you can put any type of water you want in there, any water. And so as I researched, I found that the cleanest water, because everybody's arguing, what's the best water? Yeah. People are like alkaline water, spring water, you know, right, well right, water. Right. Everybody has their opinion. <laughs> what I did to ultimately find the answer is I thought of it on my own, but I also observed nature. Do you, do you know how nature cleans water? It's fascinating, really, because you want to guess? I was going to say like plants, I'm going to think of the sun. <laughs> well, you're actually super close. It all starts with hydrogen because the sun is made up of almost entirely hydrogen. It hits the ocean and then the steam begins to rise. Hmm. As the steam rises, this is what's interesting about it. It's one of the reasons I call my channel uprising and hydrogen rises. I noticed that there's a correlation between purity and what we would call ascension, which is where it gets kind of spiritual in a way. And it leaves all the impurities behind. Then I start finding these ancient scriptures about the purity of snow, pure as white as snow, pure as a driven right. snow, all these purity talk. I discovered that snow and rain is actually distilled water. That's what it is. And so then I started looking into distillers and I found that distillation purifies the water almost entirely, but not everything because it can't go as high being in a machine. And so then you have a carbon at the end of it. So it's called, it's a carbon distiller. And by doing both those modalities, it eliminates everything. And now you got clean water. Ironically, that's what the machine likes the best too. It likes the cleanest water. It makes it not break down. It makes it mm-hmm. last, you know, it, it rarely needs maintenance. It's just super clean. And so that's are you the kind saying of water. distilled water. You're putting distilled water Car- into it. Carbon distilled. Yeah. And then are you remineralizing it after yeah. or? Yeah, I can even show you. I've actually been working with a doctor of almost uh, 40 years who specializes in this stuff. And I basically created something. He was so blown away by my work because what I'm doing actually created better results than what he was getting. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And, and I'll just say real quick for if you're listening yeah. on audio, guys, you gotta you can come over to YouTube oh, anytime right. and you can watch it. But some people are on audio. So if you can just explain, but go ahead and show for those who are watching oh, okay. the video. So I chose these because I mean, I could have chosen any. I choose whatever is the best or whatever I like. He's these holding up concentrate minerals. concentrate trace mineral drops. Yeah, yeah. I use those too. What I, what I like about these is they remove virtually all the salt, which, you know, you don't want the salt to harden your arteries or whatever, um, but it keeps all the minerals. And I'll put like, I'll put one or two drops in a 20 ounce glass and I'll pour the hydrogen water into the glass and just drink it. It's that e- I mean, this is easy and it's cheap. Uh-huh. Yeah. These, these things last yeah. forever. Yeah. Then you can use this with it and enhance it too. Have you heard of the 40,000 volts? I have not concentrate minerals. So this one's a little different than this one. This one is more for like athletes. Like when you're going to be, you want to properly hydrate this one, they have a little bit more salt, just a little bit. And then all the minerals. I'm a fan of salt. My people know that. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Consulting bad for you is just, it's all about balance in life. Right. And, and so this one, this one helps with the proper hydration. If you're being very athletic or you're sweating a lot. So I add the minerals to the clean water. And a lot of people don't know this when they make IV fluid, you know, like for hospitals, yeah. they start with distilled water hmm. because it's the cleanest. I mean, you're not right. going to put tap water and straight to someone's veins. Are you kidding? Right. Crazy. 
Oh my you know? gosh. I exactly. will think about that. Think how much we're like, exactly. Oh no, that would be horrible to put tap water in somebody's <laughs> veins. Yeah. We drink it. Just no problem. You know, I know. <laughs> oh, I think it's <laughs> oh man. I hate, I mean, I'm so picky about my water. I, I, I think it's <laughs> gross when you're drinking, you know, even just normal filtered water still has a lot of things in there that shouldn't be in there. Yeah. There's a huge thing right now about the med- the toxicity in baby food. Have you heard about that also? I have not. So, I mean, that's another big one. And I believe I know why it's in there. I mean, they're finding arsenic. They're finding, really, you know, oh my gosh, have you met? It's, it's, it's it's terrible. And can you imagine a baby that's trying to grow up and and develop and they're having all this toxic garbage in them. I mean, it's no wonder these kids get the weirdest diseases and and weird things. So sad, you know? And so I think a lot of it has to do with the water that they're using in the plants to make the food and they don't properly filter that stuff. If they're lucky, they run it through a carbon filter and that's it. And carbon filters aren't enough. They're not even close to being enough. I, I knew a guy who did water testing and boy, he really, he's the one who convinced me. He's like, dude, I've tested water all around the world. We're talking well water, river water, municipal waters, ocean water. And one of the things that he found in all the water, and he thought it was so weird is pharmaceuticals. He's like, I always find pharmaceuticals, three specifically at high levels, women's contraception. So imagine that because how's that going to affect you hormonally, right? That's not right. a good thing. <laughs> Two, antidepressants which we should talk about because you brought it up a second ago and I forgot to say a few things about that and then the third one was antibiotics disrupting your gut flora so these things will screw you all up yeah yeah so you got to clean your water I can't often emphasize it enough if you want to have good health absolutely what did you want to say about the antidepressants yeah it's a subject that's been coming a lot PTSD and depression and I'm surprised how good hydrogen has been working for it. And even for stress, I, I saw a study. It was the funniest study. I won't go into the details of it, but I was laughing at first thinking, is this a hoax? Because it was on mice and they were showing that it was working on mice for their stress levels and being able to carry out tasks. And ultimately I was thinking, well, hydrogen is not a therapist. I mean, how in the world is it helping mice that are stressed out that obviously stress has been induced on them? But I found data because they didn't know why either, but I think I know why. Um, and I think the reason is, is because I found data on how hydrogen suppresses stress hormones. So you suppress mm-hmm. the stress hormone because you can get a lot of stress hormone when you're stressed right. and doing stuff. Right. And all this affects your brain activity, right. not to mention the latest data on the gut. And it's that's what I was going to say. See? Yeah. There you that's go. where my that's mind went. And, you know, yep. I look at, you know, when people are like crabby or just, you know, they can't they're overwhelmed and can't handle stuff. And I'm like, you, you only can handle so much stress at once, you know? And so if you reduce, if you're inflamed, you got high blood sugar, like your brain is not even operating all the way. And then you got all these demands of life coming at you. And maybe you have PTSD or, you know, and you, your gut is all inflamed and you can't even make serotonin, GABA, dopamine correctly. Mm-hmm. Like, good luck. Like, no one, you're going to be a wreck, you know? And like, even when yeah. my clients, I, I love to point that out. I'm like, if you are having gut issues, like, I, I don't even need to ask if they're feeling depressed. I already know they are. I already know that they're not mm-hmm. there. I mean, maybe not clinical depression. Right. But like, they are not feeling their best. Absolutely. You can't, you know, so if you have something that's decreasing gut inflammation, decreasing overall inflammation, increasing mitochondrial health, boom, shaka laka, you can yep. feel better. <laughs> no, you, you know, you're absolutely, you're absolutely right. I think the one thing that people don't value enough until obviously they have the issue is your health is everything. Everything. Um, I don't like to say this, but I, th- I think it's true. I mean, we are a slave to this body. And if this body ain't operating right, then you're going to feel like crap. Like you're saying, you're going to be depressed, moody, this, that, or the other. You're not going to be happy. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your body you're intertwined. You're intertwined. Yep. Yeah. Like you, if your body, totally. ain't, it's like, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. It's like, if your body ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. You're just not, you literally can't because you don't have the chemicals and the energy yep. that you need to be able to. And I, you know, I don't know about you, but every time, you know, when I occasionally get sick and you will feel mm-hmm. depressed because you're not going to oh, be producing yeah. dopamine, serotonin at those same levels. I always think I'm like, is this what people feel like, like every day? Like there is no way I can't even care about thinking about going after goals in my dreams. I literally, (laughs) I don't even want to think it's making me mad. Even thinking about that right now. Like that's how I feel when I'm sick, you know, it's like, don't care, don't care, don't care. Super apathetic, you know? And so when you don't normally live in that place, it's like, Oh my gosh. Once you get a taste, that's why we're both here. Right. Like once you get a taste of feeling better, it's like, mm-hmm. well, shit, how high does this go? <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, I mean, all we got to do is look at, I mean, okay. So we look at the obesity rate in America, 
right? It's obviously, I think it's almost 50% of people, which is crazy. And then you look at the violence, the level of unhappiness, depression mm-hmm. rates, suicide rates. I mean, you know, to me, it really is a lot of it, maybe not all of it, but a lot of it is tied to your health and the things that we're yeah. doing to this body. You know, oh, it's yeah. all tied together. Absolutely. And I've seen people, and, and this is kind of crazy. I don't even like to say this one, but it is important. I've seen people who said, I don't want to change my life. I don't want to change the way I eat. I don't want, I don't want to change anything. But the one thing that they were willing to do, and I've done this as an experiment, they were at least willing to take the clean water, mm-hmm. do the hydrogen, yeah. and do at least a 30 minute walk every day. Just yeah. that minimal. And they didn't change yeah. anything else in their life. And I've right. seen huge changes. I mean, unbelievable changes. Yeah. I didn't yeah. think it worked that good, but it did. That's that's cool. It's smart. I'm always looking for levers like that, right? Because when you have somebody who is just that, you know, maybe they got PTSD, they have mental health issues, they're in a rut. They just don't care. Like, like I said, you can't even think about caring. You just don't even want to care. It's like, don't even talk to me about it. Like I can't even handle it's stressing me out. Just thinking about caring about that, you know? And so if <laughs> yeah. you can have an easy lever, an easy and powerful lever, that's just like, here, yeah. just drink this water instead of other stuff, or just sometimes drink this, yeah. sometimes drink this, you know, that's an easy lever that does a lot. So I, I love that. Um, oh, man. Oh, go ahead. What were you gonna say? Oh, no, no, I just absolutely. I, I, I was actually going to talk about how to make the clean water. Because, yeah, let's do it. Um, the carbon distillers that I use and recommend are American made. Again, they're not Chinese, sorry, <laughs> but they're not um, because those break and, and they use really low grade metals. Um, it's from a place called mypurewater.com. Okay. Of course, if people want coupons, they can use, I have a coupon. It's the name is my channel, which is uprising 144K. I don't care mm-hmm. if they use it or not, but it does give them a discount and you can get a really nice high quality carbon distiller for about 590 bucks. But once you have it, they virtually last forever. These are high quality. You just keep them clean and that's it. And it that's makes awesome. a gallon of water for about two cents a gallon, but that's the cleanest. I mean, you're making clean water and it's the only way, the only modality that completely eliminates any virus or bacteria from the water. This is big. No other, yeah. no other water filtration will come take out any virus and bacteria. So it's just so important. We, I mean, what clean water is the foundation of good health. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. And thank you for coming on and thank yeah. you for going on your own healing journey and yeah. then spreading that with others. Like I know, I know how that feels and it's, um, oh, it <laughs> gives a lot of, it, but it gives a lot of purpose to the pain. You know, it's like, I'm grateful. It sucked but I'm grateful that I was able to find a way out of that. And now I can help other people find a way out of that. So I see that. And oh, I thank you for coming on and, and, and being brave enough and curious enough and tenacious enough to get out of that place that you were in and, you know, and bring in all this learning to me and my audience today. So Greg, thank you. Oh, oh you're very welcome. And um, guys, I will, I'll link up your, the holy hydrogen. We'll link all that stuff. We'll put your coupon code for this other one. And we'll link all that up in the show notes. So, and your YouTube channel and anything else you got, you guys can check that out in show notes. All right. Thank you for listening. Have a good one guys.